Silver Jeweler is a family-run business with Russell as the matriarch and the, and the face of the business. But you also have your son, like Jonas, involved here at the Oakville store. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. It's, it's kind of neat meeting you because uh, we see you on TV and everybody sees you on TV, but then to meet you in the flesh. Yes, kinda, thank you very much. Neat, and I'm assuming a lot of people have the same experience. Oh, when they come up to me all over the streets or wherever I am in a restaurant, they come up to me and say, I can't believe it's you. Is it really you? I can't believe it. Are you the cash man? How much is it for this? How much is it for that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. There's the tagline, right? <laughs> how, so how long have you been in it for? Uh, close to 50 years. We're going to have a 50th anniversary soon. No way. And why did you first get into it? Well, I was supposed to go to law school. I finished university in Toronto, York University. I applied to law school. I was supposed to go. And that summer, I worked for these guys that owned a jewelry store. And they said, why don't you buy it? Forget law school. I did, and I haven't looked back. That was 1970. How has things changed over that time? Oh, it's like unbelievable. Like gold in 1970 was $35 an ounce. Well, of course, now it's $1,600 an ounce. And when I started, all I did was sell jewelry. Of course, it was a jewelry retail outlet. It's changed the extent now where all five of our locations mostly buy your used jewelry and handbags and accessories. Only one location sells, and that's on Young Street in Toronto. But so, otherwise, like, so like this location in, in Oakville, you're coming in here, and, and Jonas, your son, is doing what he would do, right? You're bringing your gold in, or your silver, or your bags, or whatever, and investigating to see the value in it. Right. We appraise it on the spot while you wait, right here in Oakville. And uh, it's done in the back room, but it's done right away. And we make you an offer on the spot, and then you either accept, or oh, they hate to say this, Jonas, my son, and my kids hate it. <laughs> But we negotiate. We don't care. If you like to negotiate, come and see the cash man. Do you like to negotiate? Is I that, love is that, is to that negotiate. your favorite thing to do? And then I was going to put a sign, we negotiate. And the kid said, are you crazy? Tell, tell people the price. They accept it. That's it. I said, no. I like negotiating, and I hope people do too. And most people do. They love it. It's so enjoyable when you come in here. Any Oliver Jewelry location is so much fun. Why, why have the persona, the cash man persona, the commercials, the way that you do them? Why is that important to you to do it like that? Well, because I wanted to build up Oliver Jewelry as a known entity and have some branding. And the branding is the oh yeah. And my sons, of course, I have four boys yeah. and they're gonna take over the business not long from now. I mean, I'm not a young man anymore. <laughs> and I wanted to brand it as Oliver Jewelry that's known, of course, across Canada, but one day internationally. Cool. Okay, so we're, uh, we're going to be spending the morning here. We're going to uh, hang out with Jonas. We're going to go in the back and kind of investigate how you do deem the value in gold, silver. And the newest thing is all of these handbags. And we'll get into that, too, when we come back to Oliver Jeweler in Oakville. Oh, yeah! So we're in the back here at Oliver Jewelry. We're here with uh, Jonas. In the, uh, in the Oakville location. How are you doing, Jonas? I'm doing very well. Thank awesome, you for asking. Um, so we're, the evolution of how you deem the value of gold has changed a little bit. Yes, it has. For us especially, and not everyone is doing this, but here's the old way and how most places are doing it, which is taking the ring, okay. scratching it on this block, and then they're going to take the... What's the block? What's this made of? Uh, this block is just um, ceramic. So they take this, okay. and they're going to take some acid, and they're going to wipe that right on it. This is 10 karat acid. So see how it's not completely fading. It's still kind of showing there. Then they take the 14 karat acid and rub it on there, and it completely fades. So they kind of know from doing this that the gold is somewhere around 10 karat, but it's not 100% precise. They just know it's not as high as 14. Okay. Also, they're scratching the jewelry. Not great for the customer. But that was industry standard, and people still yes. do it that way. Oh, most okay. places, 95% of places are doing it that way. Here's the new way, and this is the modern technology, and this is how we do it. Faster, safer, doesn't scratch the ring. Put the piece in there, close the machine. Within seconds, it gives you a reading. So initially it said 14, so yeah, okay, so hover. So you gotta wait till it stops, it'll take about five seconds, and now it's kind of stopping on 9.8. So not only is it 100% precise, it tells us what else is in there. It's 41% gold, it's 39% copper, there's actually 14% silver in there, and 5% zinc. So why is this important? There's silver in this ring that other places aren't paying you for because they have no idea. They just know it's around 10 karat gold. They know it's around 40% pure, but they're not 100% sure. So you know like how much you would give somebody for that ring right there? We know exactly by the weight of this ring and by that purity how much the gold is worth, how much the silver is worth, and we will pay you 90% of that market value. Okay, so 
Is, is gold what, what most is coming through the door? We see everything. Yeah. So gold is predominant for us, but we see it in all forms. Here's just a yeah, selection. So that's 10 10 carat. carat. We see 14 and 18. We see coins, which are usually higher purity. This one happens to be 22 carat. And we see pure gold. These are bars, 100% pure. And then there's the name brand stuff. And that's, and that's what we're really talking about, right? Because that's where the real money is? Yeah, because somebody doesn't want to bring in this Cartier bangle, for example. This is called the Love Bangle, one of our most popular pieces of jewelry. And get paid for the $1,000 worth of gold in here. This is a $6,000 bangle, and most customers are going to want two, three, four thousand $4,000. And guess what? We'll pay it. We'll pay it for the branding, and because it has its resale value. Can you put that in there to see how much Absolutely. that is? Absolutely. So with Cartier, because it's name brand, they're only going to use 18 karat gold, okay, nothing so less. Okay, so what are some of the other big name brands that Joe? So Cartier, right. Tiffany is very big for us. Uh, Pandora is becoming big. David Yurman, we have a cult following of customers that love David Yurman. So somebody doesn't want to bring in a David Yurman bangle and sell it for the $10 worth of silver. They want two, three, four, five hundred dollars for that bangle because of its brand name, and okay. we'll give it. Okay, so, so there we go. So right around that eighteen mark. Yes. Okay. Uh, there's the gold. We're talking silver when we come back, and handbags. That's another. Yes, that's another big one. Course. When we return to the the Oakville, Oakville baby. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, that's pretty good. Yeah. Let's hear it again. Oh yeah. <laughs> we come back with Jonas, son of Russell, here at Oliver Jewelry on Morning Live. Gold has loads of value, but what about silver? What about that spoon that you have, or those many spoons that you have in that uh, collection that nobody ever uses? Back with uh, Jonas Oliver here at uh, Oliver Jewelry in Oakville. Uh, what, what's the, uh, what's, where's silver right now? You know what, what you just said is something I hear every single day. I don't use it, I never use it, and I hate polishing it. I hate cleaning it up, it takes right. so much time and then it sits there and I don't use it. So. Why not cash it in? Listen, silver's not as much as gold, but when you have something that's a full set of spoons and they're heavy, yeah, you're gonna get good money for that. I mean, a set of silverware could run a thousand bucks at the low end and could be two or three grand just based on the weight alone. Okay, so let's go through the same thing that we did with gold. How do we know if that's true silver? So we put this in the machine the same way we did with the gold. Okay, so in this machine, if, if somebody wasn't tuned in last half hour, what's it doing? So it's analyzing it. First it's x-raying it and it's telling us what's the makeup of the metals. So once it analyzes it, it's going to tell you it's 92.5% silver and the other 7% is copper. So we know exactly what the purity of the piece is. We can go by market value, pay you 90% of that market value by the weight and purity of the piece. So you would give somebody how much for that spoon? Let's take a look. So we're going back here to weigh it. So this particular spoon, silver's trading at $22 an ounce. This is two thirds of an ounce, so it's worth 15 bucks. 15 bucks. Yeah. I want 16. See, if you want to negotiate, we'll, we'll do it with you. You know what? As long as it's within reason, right. we'll, we'll accommodate you, especially if we know you're going to be a good customer and bring more stuff. What about something like this? Like, that's not fitting in there. So how do you know how, what's the worst so of this? So we, we have to look at the stamping on it. So actually, on the back of this piece, in very fine writing, and you would need a loop to magnify this, it's going to say 800. And what that's a coding for is 80% silver. So not quite sterling silver, still good, still has its value. Look, it's heavy. So this is mm -hmm. good money on its own too. And people have tea sets at home. They don't realize it's good money. There's, Bring it there's, in. There's, there's some money there. Uh, 92.5 or 800, what is, what's that mean? So what this is the purety of the silver. So Look at that, that's like a, like a salt shaker. That's a salt shaker. Who doesn't have a salt shaker at home, am I right? Yeah. You could be sitting on something at home that's sterling silver. You don't realize it has a value. You gotta bring it in and let us and check you it. You guys aren't reselling any of this stuff. We are if it's branded. Okay, so then. And so let's talk about some other stuff that you, that you would resell, that you do really like, is those brand names again. Yes, yes. Okay, so we what, what, love, what's an we example? love brand names. Here's a perfect example. So this is a David Yurman bangle, and it is made of silver, just the same as the other stuff we were looking at. It's 92.5% pure. But if we took this and put it on the scale, as most places will, it's an ounce and a half of silver. So it's worth just over 30 bucks. But nobody wants to sell their David Yurman bangle for 30 bucks, and I don't blame them. It's a $1,000 piece. We resell them in our stores for six or seven hundred. So what does that mean? We'll pay you four, five hundred dollars for them. As long as we can resell it and make a profit, we'll buy it. And believe it or not, I have people coming in who tell me, I went to a pawn shop, they offered me 20 bucks for this, 25 bucks, 10 bucks, 15 bucks, and it's the same piece I could have paid them five hundred dollars for because of the brand name. You don't even know what you have in your house. And what about, and here's what we'll do last when we come back with, uh, with Jonas and, and your dad, Russell. You would know your dad, Russell. You probably got this as a kid growing up. Oh, your dad's the cash man, right? All the time. All still the time, get right? it. Still get it. Uh, bags, and that's kind of changed your industry a little bit and how these designer bags and 
women, those bags in here. Women go crazy for designer bags. Okay, we'll do that when we come back to Oliver Jewelry in Oakville, one of five locations on Morning Live. Oakville, baby! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Back with the man himself, the cash man himself, Russell Oliver, inside the uh, Oakville location, one of five locations. It was cool talking to, uh, to Jonas. Good. Who's, who's, uh, who's Russell's son, youngest son, too, isn't it? Very youngest, yeah. and hopefully the face of Oliver Jewelry in the future. Did you encourage, did you want all the boys? Because you have four boys, right? Yes. Did you want them to get involved? Uh, I did. Yeah. Uh, two of them are still involved and two aren't, but, you know, one day all four may be back in. They're in and out. Well, you would never retire, would you? No. The cash man, hey. No, no, I won't retire. I won't give up control of the cash. <laughs> <laughs> we have a bunch of bags in front of us on the counter here because obviously gold, silver that we've talked about are big, but this bag trend and the, the used bags huge. is massive. Huge, huge, huge. People are bringing them in like crazy and people are demanding them like crazy. The reason we pay so high is because the demand is so high. Okay, so what are some of the names that you like to get? Right, the main one is Louis Vuitton. Of course, as you see, this big, huge suitcase. Even shirt. this, you know, four or $5,000, we pay one or 2000 But even that come, comes in very, very handy, and we really need those because we can sell a lot of them. All the usual little Louis Vuitton, you know, but even Louis Vuitton Louis wallets, Vuitton. you know, little wallets on a chain or any Louis piece will get you a few hundred bucks, if not a thousand or two. Is it because people can't afford the actual, right. the new? Right, right. But right. they still want the... Uh... Some can't afford it, and some say, I'm not going to pay it. I know very wealthy people say, I'm just not going to pay full price. I'm not gonna, so I want it for half. So if you want it for half, come to all of us, because we can probably help you out. Quality depends. Sometimes it's mint condition. Sometimes it's a little bit worn. If it's too badly worn, we don't buy it or sell it. So we want them to be in nice condition. But because they're made with good quality, they last a lot longer. Yes, exactly. Especially Louis Vuitton. I mean, okay. That material is invincible. And then... Dust bags? Is that dust what bag. If okay, you come so with a dust bag, we pay extra. Okay, so this is what a bag would normally yes, come in. Yes, yes, yes. And we pay extra because we want that. It shows authenticity. It, it reinforces the authenticity. Because that's the thing. How do you make sure that, because there's a lot right. of rip-off rip brands out there. Right? A lot of fakes. Off. Yeah. And How we know, we have experience. We've been doing it for a long time now. And we've studied it. And we have a machine to tell. But we have ways. So... We know when it's authentic, and when you buy it from us, we guarantee it. So if you feel it's not, you don't have to worry. We guarantee it okay. 100%. Uh, so once again, this Oakville store is you can just come in and bring your bags and bring your gold and bring your jewelry, but it's not a retail store. Right, store. right. It's a place to come and get cash right. as opposed to bring your cash. And the one location that, is there only one location where you can actually go only buy? Only one right now, which is 620 Young Street, Young and Bloor. That's the only one where you can buy, actually buy something. Oh, online, alloverjewelry.ca is where people go like crazy. Oh, you should see the visits lately because that's where you can buy stuff. So people do go online and we sell tons of stuff online. What's the next commercial idea? What do you got rolling well, around? Well, we, you know, the house calls is the latest. That's really <laughs> right. now only about a few, three, four weeks old. You know, we are pop out of the table and we're making house calls now. The next one is we really want to make a foray into the United States. So, you know, going to America, coming from America, we just got sent some stuff from so California. You've done, so. you, you've done some crazy stuff like painting your entire self gold. Has there ever been an idea where they're just like, no, Russell, we can't do that? Well, not really. <laughs> I'll do anything, but some of them don't work quite as good as we'd like them to. Right. When you when you're doing the the oh yeah, let's finish with this. Like how you need a you need want you want it bigger on the O or the yeah? The yeah. So it's got to be O oh, yeah. Yeah, that's okay. exactly so, right. Uh, okay, so let's uh, wrap everything up. Come see these guys located in Oakville, right? Three fifty five Iroquois Shore Road. Okay, one of five locations in. Again, you can go online too. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, oh yeah! yeah.